At a time when popular music seems walled off between raging rap metal and chirpy, innocuous teen pop, the music of Prince still shines like a beacon of other, more exciting possibilities. The son of Minneapolis jazz musicians and a self-taught prodigy on piano, guitar, and drums, Prince Rogers Nelson always saw music not as something to be twisted and tailored for market demographics, but as an indivisible whole, much the way he saw the world. Why do we scream at each other? This is what it sounds like when the doves cry. His great 80s band, The Revolution, was black and white and male and female, and no big deal was made of it. They were all simply great musicians. <laughs> And the music they played wasn't just funk or rock or almost jazz. It was all of those things, sometimes all at once. It was Prince music. Oh no, let's go, let's go crazy. And it was most stunningly presented in the audacious 1984 glam fantasy movie Purple Rain, the soundtrack from which sold more than 10 million albums. <laughs> Long before hardcore rap and metal acts made raw carnality a major pop reflex, Prince had established himself as a master of musical erotica. You gotta have a mother for me, now move your big ass around this way so I can work on that zipper, big day. His provocative sexual obsessions elegantly balanced within his overriding vision of music's basically spiritual nature. A lifelong workaholic, Prince whipped up hits not just for himself, but for a small army of others. Nothing compares to you. Sinead O'Connor and Chaka Khan, for example, had maybe the biggest hits of their careers covering Prince songs. By the mid-90s, though, Prince had become convinced that music was too important a human thing to be controlled and manipulated by record companies, which in any case were doomed to have difficulty keeping up with all the music he was churning out. So having changed his name to an unpronounceable symbol, he walked away from his longtime contract with Warner Brothers Records and took his music to the internet. He also continued his career-long aversion to doing interviews, although that may be changing. I mean, you still have those little outfits in a closet somewhere. Well, now, what do you want to know? <laughs> Ain't you got a woman? What you, uh, <laughs> what you need to know all that stuff for? <laughs>